Hey everybody, welcome back. If you saw the other Cold Steel video I have, you know that these came from an awesome friend of the community, Jimmy Slash. So please check out his channel, it's linked below. As well as, if you like this content, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and also hit the notification bell because I'm doing lots of fun giveaways and some other ones coming up. So, this is the Cold Steel Gunsight Counterpoint 1. It's got a long name. It's got a cool looking box. They cover all the good stuff on it. You can see it's already got that triad lock. That's pretty cool. All their warranty information. I really like what they do on their packaging. Now this one, uh, full retail MSRP comes in at $129.99. I found it online for $83.95. And that's just doing a quick little Google you know, search of it. So pretty cool overall. Comes in some bubble wrap, keeps your knife nice and safe. Oh, okay, there's some cool OD green going on there. Look at that. Now this has that really cool Griv X material as did the Formax Scout. So it's kind of that grivery with a lot of texture. I like that texturing. Now this does have the reversible clip, so you can use it right or left-handed. And the coolest part though, get that blade fired out. Look at that blade shape. That's pretty wild. It's got, the, it's got some little cut-in designs here. Not really functional jimping. You can feel it a little bit, but more of for the design, kind of a faux serrated edge. But look at that serrated edge on that one. That's, that's pretty wild right there. So it's, got a, it's also got that faux spear point look to it. Now, they said this is a stiletto-inspired spear point. They use the, the Japanese steel, the Aus 10A. Got some labeling right here. Pretty, pretty rad. <laughs> and there's your clip right there, your pocket clip. It's ambidextrous. They did not forget the lanyard fans, so lanyard fans can rejoice. It has that see-through design, so you can see everything you need to right through the handles. Makes it a little bit lighter weight that way, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the handle, like I said, is that Grivex and the OD Green. Um, they have the liners in here are aluminum. So they have some aluminum liners that you can see right there. And basically, obviously, they heat treated the aluminum. So it's going to make it a little stronger. But they also have that see-through, that milling. So you're, it's, going to, it's going to keep that weight reduction. Now, this overall, the weight is 4.7 ounces. Pretty cool. And they have that triad locking system on this as well. So it obviously lifts up here and locks in. One of the strongest locks on the market. So pretty cool overall design. It's that Demco triad lock. I'm getting I'm getting used to these. I don't wanna, that's the thing, like I gotta be careful because I haven't used too many of these, so I don't wanna get stuck or have one of them drop on me. I'm gonna take some of the, the uh, fingerprints off this one. I didn't realize it had prints on it, but I wanna get those off there because it looks beautiful. Just gorgeous. And overall, I'm, you know, I'm kind of torn on this one because, you know, playing around with it a little bit, um, did carry it. And what, what got to me was the clip is pretty low overall. Um, but for me, it's still this area, the clip right here that sticks up kind of hits the middle portion of my hand through here. And, you know, you notice it, it's not pointy, but if you, when you, when I put pressure on and I cut a few things, and I put pressure on like this and really got a good, you know, grip on it. This top edge of the clip kind of stuck and got in right there. But, you know, that's something to be aware of. And the liners themselves, I think it's because my, my hand is just not big enough. You know, this is, I have a large glove size hand. And, you know, there's plenty of extra room in there. And I think it's maybe because I just, maybe my finger's not big enough. Or I need to grasp it like this or something. But... It just feels a little different with the, it, it's almost like they could finish off the inside of the scales, maybe. They're not sharp, but they could, if they, you know, sanded the edge a little bit, maybe that would help, because I, I noticed that through there too. But yeah, so do you guys have one of these? Have you tried one of these out, got hands on with it? I think it's pretty cool when they do that, and I don't know what the proper procedure is. Um, it's, per, you know, the detent's there. You know what I mean? So it's not going to just flip out on you. And it's not, not super drop shutty, 
I mean, when you get it to a point of like right through here, it'll close down like you saw, but overall, it's a pretty cool knife. Um, they do make it in a, a black Grivex handle. I saw that, so that'd probably be more my style with it. But yeah, this is made in Taiwan for cold steel. I think it's pretty cool. You know, they don't they don't have an inset line or anything, so you have a little bit of that in the handle, but when you're gripping it, I mean, you already have the holes, so it's almost kind of a space for your pinky finger or anything to rest on if you need a little bit extra grip as well. But the overall design of the blade, I think it looks pretty cool. It works really well, especially those serrations. You know, it's not it's not any sort of crazy shark teeth ones that uh, we've seen before, but I like serrations. I'm kind of a serrations fan, especially at work. They work really well. So yeah, let me know if you're a serrations fan. That'd be a good question for this video. But I did want to show you a couple comparisons. Um, the Spyderco Para 3, this is a lightweight version. You can see the size difference there in the comparison. And then of course, you know, the blade tip to blade tip. Seems like everybody has their own comparisons they like to see. Um, and then here's a full size Benchmade Griptilian. So a little bit more comparable overall. You get a little bit more blade length. Um, now the, the information on this one, the, the Cold Steel Gunsight Counterpoint 1, you have overall length of 8.875 inches. Closed, you're looking at 5.02 inches. Your blade length is 3.75 inches. And your thickness is 0 0.137. And the weight is 4.7 ounces, which I think we talked about earlier. But here's the Benchmade Bug Out. In a size comparison, it's kind of an XL version of it, you know. So you're at, you know, you're right around two ounces or so, a little over two ounces, and this is 4.7. So, you know, you get a good size in the knife there going, but you can understand why, especially with the weight. So pretty awesome. I really appreciate Jimmy uh, sending these over to me. So definitely check out his channel. He also does a, a pay it forward, a Pithmas and uh, helps people out in the community. So it's pretty awesome. I'm still getting to learn these triad locks and stuff. So far, my favorite of the three he sent me is the uh, 4MAX Scout. So, but that's a heavy duty kind of thing. So anyways, you guys, make sure to do something kind for someone. Really makes a difference. It's a great thing the community's adopted. I really appreciate you guys moving this, this forward. It's been terrific. Have an awesome rest of your day. But most importantly, take care.